Today's just one month away from Memorial Day weekend, and these are the temperatures we're talking about as we go into Thursday morning, mid to upper 30s, just about everywhere. And when you talk about mid 30s, you do have to talk about the potential for frost. But let's explain what frost is. Let's say air temperature is 36 degrees, which it will be in a few spots as we go into our early Thursday morning. Well, that's a temperature about six feet above the ground. That's where our weather observations are taken. But at the surface, colder air sinks, you can get down to 32 degrees here. And if there's water molecules in the air, most times there usually are, just being that we're located by the coast, you get frost. Now, the favorable conditions for frost are clear skies, light winds, temps in the 30s, and moisture on the ground. Well, we're going to have three of those four. The one we're missing is the winds here, and that's critical because with these winds, we're not going to see any frost here. You need all four really to get frost, so we're not going to see that as we go into Thursday morning. Now, on the flip side, let's take a look at our feels-like temperatures. We're going into the 30s and the 20s. Yes, the 20s on Thursday morning, 25 in Shiloh, 26 in Neptune, 27 in Tom's River, winter jackets needed, and dare I say the hat as well, it's still be feeling below freezing at 9 a.m. and even at noon, only in the low 40s. Again, Memorial Day weekend, just a month away. We eventually do warm up as we go into the afternoon hours, but temperature is still a good amount below average for this time of the year. Futurecast looks like this, talking about some cloud cover into the evening, but then we clear out. Actually, should be sunny for most of our Thursday, and this continues right on into the evening. It's another clear night on Thursday night. No frost again because the winds will be elevated, and then plenty of beautiful blue sky for our Friday as we wrap up the week, and then going into Saturday too, even Saturday morning, plenty of sunshine to go around, and it should carry over for most of the day. So we're talking about a sunny stretch, but a chilly stretch as well. For tonight, we'll see clearing clouds as the night goes on. We'll start out mostly to partly cloudy, end up mainly clear here. Again, no frost for us because of those winds. Thursday, nothing but a beautiful blue sky here, but temperature is only going to be in the mid-50s here. And again, wind chill staying below freezing until about the end of the morning commute. So you do need to, yes, bundle up. Going to Thursday night, kind of the same story. We're just going to be clear all night long instead of part of the night here. And then let's take a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Plenty of sunshine for Friday, plenty of sunshine for Saturday. Temperatures climb to near average. Average temperatures inland are in the upper 60s this time of year. Potential for frost will be there on Saturday morning in a few spots in the Pine Barrens. Then as we go into next week, and we'll go on over to the shore seven day for this, Mostly cloudy on Sunday, temperatures taking a step back again, and then as we go into Monday, looking unsettled with some showers here, Tuesday could even be wet as well. We'll have more details for you on that as we go into our Thursday morning forecast. Hope everyone has a great night, everybody. Stay warm. We'll be back with you on Thursday morning.